Okay, so markets continuing to melt up. We've got record highs for the Dow, S&P, NASDAQ, albeit on a relatively average volume, at least here at the stock exchange. Now, keep in mind, it's been a very tight range this week. We've got volatility, really just non-existence. VIX below 11 this morning. It's a... Uh, that said, reflation trade is what is back in focus. That's after those tax comments from President Trump yesterday, which pushed the S&P Dow and NASDAQ to record highs at the close. That's playing out again this morning. You can take a look. It's materials, energy, financials that are leading the charge. Rate-sensitive, safe haven sectors, utilities, consumer staples, real estate, the REITs, those are falling today. Though traders do expect this to be somewhat short-lived until we get some more of these policy details. Not a lot of data or earnings today. But we do have a flurry of political headlines in focus. Trump's support of one China policy, the block travel ban, and of course, the president's meeting with Japanese Prime Minister Abe today, as you guys just showed, the beginning of that whole process going on. Ahead of that, we've got the dollar stronger against the yen. Nikkei hit a five-week high overnight. Here, financials, once again, a darling. Real reversal for the week as Treasury yields move higher. Good news for banks, also insurers. Uh, guys, just taking a look at the Dow. We're up about 56 points right now. Back over to you. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.